Russia uses advanced, Telnik, ammunition on T-90M tanks, high explosive infantry buster. In the Ukrainian conflict zone, Russian T-90M tanks have reportedly been equipped with advanced high explosive fragmentation shells designed to wipe out infantry troops, TopWar.ru reports. This advanced ammunition, known as Telnik, falls into the shrapnel or beam fragmentation ammunition category. Once detonated in the air, the munition deploys preformed sub-munitions over the target area, effectively neutralizing enemy personnel. Telnik's 3VOF-128 multifunctional projectile has so far been exclusively supplied to T-90M prorive tanks in Ukraine, as its application requires special equipment. The comprehensive system consists of the tank's ballistics computer carefully adapted to the unique characteristics and ballistics of the new ammunition, an interface for entering data into the projectile itself. Docking mechanism, an 125mm 3VOF-128 shell equipped with a fragmentation-type warhead designed to explode over its target. At the beginning of 2019, the new projectile was known to have several possible options for hitting the target, namely a gap in approaching the target, a gap right above the target, as well as several variants of ground shock absorbing action. Once detonated, this ammunition releases 5.4 kilograms of fragments, covering the target area in a cone-shaped pattern. Because of their ability to hit a target with a directed beam of shrapnel, such projectiles are often referred to as fragment beams. In Ukraine, Telnik projectiles have demonstrated extraordinary 6 to 8 times greater effectiveness against enemy infantry compared to standard 3OF-26 high-explosive fragmentation shells. Despite its enhanced capabilities, the Telnik projectile retains physical dimensions and weight similar to those of the conventional ZOF-26. Russia revives its first nuclear submarine built in 1958 K-3 Leninsky Komsomol. It has been stored in a museum since 2003. Russia revived its first nuclear submarine built during the Soviet Union, the K-3 Leninsky Komsomol. This submarine with a crew of 100 began serving in the Soviet Navy in 1958 and was retired in 1988. The K-3 Leninsky Komsomol was the Soviet Union's first nuclear-powered submarine and the third nuclear-powered submarine in the world. This submarine, with a speed of 30 knots and armed with 20 set 65 or 53 to 65 K torpedoes, has previously been in the collection of the Kronstadt Naval Museum since 2003. Reported Sputnik, restoration of the K-3 Leninsky Komsomol nuclear submarine is currently entering its final stages. Experts have cleaned the submarine's outer hull and restored its internal equipment. After restoration, monitors with video content, monophones, projections and other interactive elements will be installed inside the submarine.